All right, this is what we're working with. So <laughs> I've kind of started to try to organize it in like segments here, you know, like foundations and stuff, mascaras, bronzers and bits, all lip in that basket. This is still miscellaneous. It's kind of still organized. My everyday makeup is in this one that I've been wearing. So yeah, it's not too much. I mean, there's a lot of more people in the blogging YouTube space that have significantly more makeup than myself. But for myself, this is a lot of makeup that I don't get to use because it's stored away and I don't see it. So I thought I should streamline it. I'm going to be a new mom in like a few weeks. Am I going to be wearing all this makeup all the time before it expires? No. The answer is no. So let's get to it. like what I'm wearing? My llama, or I think they're maybe they're alpaca, alpaca pajamas. <laughs> it's so cozy. Pregnancy life. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to sit over here because I can't fit underneath the tripod. But <clears throat> let's start off with uh, foundations. And I put some primers in there um, and some tinted moisturizers just because, yeah, I don't have too many foundations. I did a massive clear out before we moved into this place, so already was pretty condensed. All right, so where should I start? Oh, I'm gonna be keeping this one. This is um, a new product from Burt's Bees. It's a tinted moisturizer with green tea. I really like to wear this. Um, yeah, if I'm just kind of running around and stuff. So this is fantastic. I will be keeping this guy, and I'm in the shade Ivory in this because <laughs> I'm pale. So. <laughs> that is being kept. Um, I'm also going to be keeping this Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation. I'm in um, zero fair color. Uh, I really like it. It's also has sunscreen. <clears throat> so when you travel and stuff, it's also pretty great if you want to condense what you're bringing. Um, but yeah, also a nice pretty bottle. I think I'm going to chuck these. Um, I really did like them, except they were in storage for so, so long. So yeah, I will, unfortunately, I think I have to chuck these. Okay, um, this is another one that I haven't had a chance to try. I went to a London Drugs Beauty event. Um, so this is Keep Pile. Here's another product I like. You can see I have a backup of it. It's the Dior Air Flash. Um, spray foundation. Um, it's water resistant stuff. <clears throat> so, oh no, this isn't, oh no, this is a mist. Anyways, <clears throat> just have this guy. So, <laughs> um, this is the shade 100, I guess it would be called. And I don't know, I, I think it's nice when you go on vacation or you're going to the pool and stuff. I just kind of like spray it onto a brush and like pat it onto my skin. Um, and it's, it's like, feels like you're not even wearing anything. Um, expensive? Yes. Oh, one of my absolute favorites, my go-to, is the It Cosmetics CC Cream. You can see this one's much loved. And then I got, um, a new one just because I was like, ooh, how long have I had this one for? <laughs> um, so I had this one in Fairlight, and this one was in Light. Um, I can see they put some new, um colors out or shade let's just say so I will um, and also gives you an expiry date and I'm pretty sure this one is that past its expiry date so this one I will get rid of and this one I'm going to be keeping um, another one I'm going to be keeping is the Estee Lauder double wear stay in place makeup I'm in the shade one and one I renewed love this this is a full coverage buildable foundation and it's my go-to if I'm going to events or something special and I don't want my makeup coming off so keeping that this is also new and I haven't had a chance to try it yet is the Maybelline Dream Urban Cover and it also has SPF 50 in there this is shade 102 Fair Porcelain I'm pretty sure that's my shade so love trying out new drugstore um, products and I will be keeping that and trying that out and then there's these two. Sorry, my bump's in my way of reaching over. Okay, so one is a primer, 
and one is um, a skin perfecting color. It's like a souffle essentially, as you can see. Oh, I think I kept this on so when we were moving it wouldn't go everywhere. But yeah, it's like a souffle. Um, it's from Stilla Cosmetics. I'm gonna keep that because I actually really liked the consistency on my skin. So I'd like to try to try use that. And same with the primer. I'm really curious to know how this wears on top of each other. Um, a couple things I think I, I will get rid of is I was gifted these, the Rodan and Fields Radiant Defense Perfect Perfecting Liquid Broad Spectrum SPF 30 lotion. So it's just a tinted moisturizer and they expire actually in like June. But they they just like slid off my face a lot and they got, I don't know, I just didn't suit my skin type. So I will be, I think one's unused, so I could put that in a giveaway. And then the other one, obviously this one I, I've used, so I will be getting rid of those. Another one I think I might just get rid of because the shade doesn't match me. Um, I think this was gifted, this Dior one. And yeah, it's just, as you can see, kind of just a little bit too tan for myself. Um, and I think I'll try to give it a new home because I think I've only used it like once and was like, yep, this is not my color. <laughs> so I will be gifting that to someone hopefully. And then these are all like primers that are left um, and like these highlighters. So I kind of just put them on the same thing. Oh, this is another like tinted moisturizer from Bioderma. Um, it's actually really nice, so I'm gonna keep this. Love, love having a tinted moisturizer on hand for those days when you don't wanna wear like a lot of makeup. But these are primers and like some like highlighting ones from Charlotte Tilbury. I think I'm gonna get, be getting rid of these. I've had these for like a couple years. I really like them. Or wait, one of them is new, or I'm gonna figure out which one by smell. But uh, yeah, I really did like these. These did give you a nice glow. They're a great drugstore product. Um, I think they might just be old, so I'm gonna have to check and then maybe get rid of them. This is completely new, so I'm gonna be try trying this out. It's uh, from Shishido has a new line, Waso, and it's Poreless Matte Primer. It's cute packaging. I haven't had a chance to try this out, so I will be keeping that. Same, keeping this. Love my Charlotte Tilbury Youth Glow. And these wands, I'm also gonna keep. Um, they're really, really pretty. Yeah, I'm just gonna be keeping those. And same with the Supermodel Body, because <laughs> I wanna try that out this uh, this summer. Um, I think it's just for the glow part, more. I don't really care to look slimmer, but I just want like the shimmer. I think that would be like really nice for the summer. Um, these were also, this is like a fit fixing spray. It's like a mini. I think I can keep that and put it in my travel bag. And then this is something new I haven't tried yet is the NYX um, Gel Illuminator. And this is in the wrong category, it's a highlighter. <laughs> but I'm gonna be keeping that, so <laughs> oops. <laughs> and then this is um, Nude by Nature Perfecting Primer. I tried it a couple times, it wasn't for me, so I think I'm trying to give this a new home. Um, but I do love this brand, so if you're looking at the drugstore in Canada and stuff, I don't know if they're sold in the States but they have some really lovely products, so that will be finding a new home. All right, I did okay. I got rid of some bits. As I said, I don't have too many foundations as it is, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. And then maybe we should move on to uh, mascaras. <laughs> Let's do that. <coughs> Okay, mascaras. Um, I usually don't have this much, but we I went to a few events lately and they sent us home with a lot of mascaras, like the Laura, like the London Drugs one. Um, and I'm kind of a person that like tries to go through a bunch and then move on to the, the unopened ones. So let's see, let's go through the ones that I have been using. I just got the It Cosmetics Slash Blowout and I really like it, so keeping. Um, also the superhero one, trying that out. I'm gonna keep that one. And then um, I kinda like the, trying to use these up, this is the Marc Jacobs, um, the velvet mascara and the primer. And I'm almost done these, so I'm gonna keep those and use them. 
This one I'm not too fond of, the Bourgeois Paris one. Um, I just kind of felt like it made my lashes clumpy. So I'm going to um, toss that because I already used it too. So I can't donate any mascaras unless they're unopened. So that one will be going in the trash. I really love the Dior Show like Pump and Volume Mascara. I have a little mini of it. <laughs> I'm gonna put that in my little travel bag for the hospital maybe if I wanna like do some. And I have a little lash primer. So I'm gonna keep these. These are great. Really love um, that it gives my lashes so much volume. Expensive. Um, not something I would purchase all the time, so. This is the Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara. Uh, I know a lot of people love it, but for me, it clumped my lashes and then it um, had fallout from it. So, yeah, that one's gonna go in the trash. This is the Rimmel Wonder Lash one with Argan Oil. Um, have I used this? I'm not sure. I'm gonna just try it out one more time and then see if I like it, and then I'm gonna toss or um, keep and I think that's it for mascaras oh this is like a mini Stila one so that's going in the trash I don't know when I opened that these are new ones yep see here's another TR show one unopened keeping that these are the Burt's Bees ones that I have just launched so they have I have a black brown and I have a navy I want to try these out still so I'm going to be keeping these one I'm going to trash is the Essence Lash Princess Waterproof. I don't really wear waterproof mascara all too often, so I'm going to be trashing that one. Oh, this is, yeah, so here's some more drugstore ones are unopened. I think I might just keep these because, as you can see, I don't have too many mascaras, and I do try to use them and then go on to the next, and I'm not a person that, fortunately, I get gifted mascaras, so I don't really buy too many lately. So I'm just going to keep these and yeah, just keep them in my backup pile, I think, for now. And that's it for mascara. <laughs> so I don't know, maybe we should go on to brow products. I'll grab those. So hang on. One eternity later. Okay. Here are my brow products and some hair, lovely. Uh, I don't have too many. <laughs> I kind of stick to things I like. Um, so as you can see, I have a bunch of glossy um, boy brows. This one's super old. Um, this one, I mean, almost done. And then I bought a refill recently, so I can keep these two. I just really like them. I also like the size of them. This was recently sent over, so I'm going to try that out pretty soon. It's the Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim Pencil. So I'm going to keep that, and I'm going to try that out, actually. Still working my way through the Charlotte Tilbury Brow Lift Pencil. I actually really like the brush on this. I had the Anastasia, and it broke on me. So I went for the Charlotte Tilbury. I'm going to use this because it also was expensive. So that's also going to go into the keep. Uh, I think I'm going to... I even use this one? Hmm, maybe once. I don't know, I think I'm gonna put this in the toss. I can't remember when I got this, so. Uh, this was also one that I actually like because I liked a little stubby brush. So I'm going to keep that one. And then the Benefit Gimme Brow I'm gonna keep as well because this is really great for travel. So I'm gonna stick this in my travel bag because we do actually are going away next week as well. So I'm going to keep this one. And that's it. <laughs> so, yeah, not a lot of brow products. Um, concealers are even. Okay. Here are my mascara, or my, not mascaras, oh my god. Here are my concealers. I feel like I'm missing my Fresh Beauty one. I think that's in my purse for some reason. Um, keeping that, because I love it. Oh no, I have two more actually, sorry. So, not too many. I love my NARS, uh, the soft matte in the little jar. And I have, I'm in the shade Light Vanilla. So, keeping this guy, he's great. 
Um, keeping the concealer, the CoverGirl one, also really nice. I also have the It Cosmetics Bye Bye um, concealer, also really nice. Love this, keeping that, it's great for blemishes. I have these two Clos de Butte. <laughs> yeah, they're like really expensive concealers gifted to me. They're in a stick form. And I always forget about these, so I'm going to use these up. And then I also got the Maybelline Fit Concealer. Really love this, keeping that. And this is old, so this is checked. Uh, let's move on to palettes, I guess. I don't have too many. I'm not super wild into like um, eyeshadows. I love them, but I don't play around with a lot of looks and stuff. So I'm just going to quickly go through these. I know there's a couple that are maybe kind of old. I don't use. I can get rid of. Yeah. And if you guys have any suggestions on ones that overall have a nice neutral look um, with maybe a couple shimmers, let me know in the bottom um, in the comments because I'm always up for learning. I'm gonna sit down. Oh my god, I'm out of breath. I'm like six weeks to go before my due date, so <laughs> excuse the out of breath sounding uh, every two minutes. Okay, recently picked this up. It's a good drugstore one, I feel like. It's so pretty. Nick's Away We Go. And oh my god, I haven't even opened it yet. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep this. I think I literally got this before Christmas. But yeah, I just like how it has some mattes, some shimmers. I think it would be really nice for the spring and summer. Same with this one, it's super cool. Also haven't opened this. But yeah, I just I just love all those red tones. So I will be keeping that one. And I picked this up before I we went to Italy. It's a smash box. <laughs> it needs a little bit of a clean with a Q-tip in there. But it's so pretty for summer. Oh my god. So I'm be keeping that. Urban Decay one has like some individuals to put in there. This is like three, four years old. So I will be checking that one. Um there's this Charlotte Tilbury one. I think that's really pretty um, little palette. Nice for travel. And then I think <laughs> I got this other one as well. I haven't even opened it. So I might keep this one. I'll hum and ho over it for like a night. Um, a Stila one. Another really pretty palette. I think I might keep this. Yeah. Because I think I'm going to give these this one a new home. I, haven't, I don't think I even used this one. This one, ooh, did I use? No, you know what, I didn't use. I think it just came in transit that way. So, donation pile. I did really like this Maybelline one, but as you can see, I have a couple other ones that are similar. So I will be buying a new home for this one. Uh, this one just came in the mail, and I think I'm gonna put this into a giveaway, just because there's too many dark browns in there, and not my, not my thing. Um, pretty palette. Do love their eyeshadow, so I will be putting in the giveaway. This one came in um, in like one of those FabFitFun boxes I subscribed to. Anyways, cute names, <laughs> cute packaging. I think I might try to find this a new home for someone just because, yeah, I just have a few others that are similar now. But how adorable is this packaging? Oh my god. So cute. Uh, this one... Uh, Pierre sent over a while ago. Haven't even opened it yet, but you can see it's another neutral. I have a pattern here. I don't do anything wild. And nice colors. I don't know. I think I'm really curious to know what their eyeshadows are like. So I think I might keep this and just try to play around a couple times. If I don't like it, then maybe my sister might take it. And then this Tarte Pro Glow. I think it's more of like not even, it's not eyeshadows. <laughs> it's body, it's face stuff. So. Um, but I'm going to keep this anyways, regardless. So I'll just put that in that pile when I'm done that. Let's move on to, like, bronzers and stuff. I don't... That actually got a big pile. Ooh, eyeliners. Eyeliners. Okay, here's my little eyeliner collection. I used to love wearing eyeliners, but I haven't really lately. 
more just laziness and they haven't really gone out anywhere but I'm gonna keep a few of these um, this is a Canadian brand they are new I haven't used their liquid eyeliner so I'm going to keep that and try that out um, I just actually ordered this myself it's uh it's from Glossier it's their playline so keeping that I was curious to know how their eye pencils played out and it's a really beautiful like coppery shade uh, Burt's Bees yeah, a couple of the eyeliners I kept when I went to an event. So I'm going to keep these. These are new. And um, I really just like the shades. I th I'm just planning out my spring and summer looks, you know, because it's <laughs> what I'm looking forward to. Um, these also I got at the London Drugs event. I thought they were, like, really pretty colors. <laughs> so they, they went home with, like, two of each. And I gave the other ones away um, that were, like, in, like, blues and stuff, just not for me. I used to wear a blue eyeliner, but I'm gonna keep these. I think they're gonna, like, they're from Rimmel. I think they're gonna look really nice for summer. This is also a waterproof one, 24 hours. Oh, I think I'm gonna, like, get this new home because I'm easy for, like, anything that lasts that long as an eyeliner. I don't know. I'm just gonna donate that one. The Pixie by Petra is another waterproof one, but I know this isn't one that, like, lasts... For like a whole day. And I do like how it glides on, so keeping that this new one. Here's a Revlon one in plum. I don't have any purple ones besides this one, <laughs> but I'm gonna keep this because it's nice, nice dark plum, and it will be subtle um, instead of like a bright purple. So I'm gonna keep that. Um, I've had this one for a while. I think it's not used. Oh, I think I got this too at the London Drugs thing. This one, did I? I'm not sure, but I'm gonna give this a new home. Same with this this purple one. It's kind of like a shimmer, and I don't know if I want like a shimmery purple, so I'm gonna put this in the friends and family pile here. Ooh, I love these like pixie like eye bright liners. Brighten up your little eyes if you're feeling tired in the corner. So keeping that. Here's another one of these. I think I'll donate this one. It's like a it's like a right rum red color. Not for me. This little Marc Jacobs one. I think this is like super old. Yeah, so I'm going to toss that. Same with this Annabelle one, which also great price points if you're in the drugstore. And I'm not sure if they sell in the States, but Canada, so cheap. But they have so many really great colors and they go on really nicely. I've had this Pixie one for a while. I think I will toss that. Same with this one. Same with this Corez one. <laughs> I can't even tell you when I got this. And then, uh, yeah, the Stila one. I know it's like the smudge. Oh, actually, no, this was kind of re recently new, so I'm gonna keep that. But it's this little mini mascara that goes. And same with this, these other two here have also been in my drawer for a while. I know that. That's it for my eyeliners. Oh my goodness, we're making good headway here. Maybe we should do the highlighting. Oh, liquid highlighters. Oh my god. I don't know if you guys are ready for this. I have a lot. <laughs> I love these Nude by Nature ones. Um, this one I'm gonna keep. This is a Beach Glow and uh, Sunshine. Um, I'm gonna keep that one. It's, they're really nice. Um, same with uh, this guy. He's gonna stay along. Um, oh, I, this actually is a lip color, Marc Jacobs, and it's gold. And I thought, oh, maybe I'll go crazy one. One ho like last holiday season. So I'm going to find, I'm going to have to toss this because I'm not going to wear it. I wore it a few times as layer and no, didn't like it. Uh, oh, here's another new by nature one. Keep that. Same with this one. This is the Lumi Glow, I think. Oh, it's two years. Okay, so we can keep that one. Um, these pixie ones, are they like eyeliners? I think they're kind of like high. I use them as like a little bit of a highlight. This one looks dried out. <laughs> so does this one. This one's still okay. These are still okay. So I'm gonna keep these. Um, here's the Becca priming filter. I'm gonna keep that because I actually forgot I had that in there. And then this, oh yeah, is this just like a bronzer stick, highlight stick? But I'm gonna keep this. So whatever, we'll just go through it now. And these are like eye bits. Oh, and I had the Glossier Stretch Concealer, and then I barely used this because I forgot it was in this drawer. So, keeping that one. And then these are other little tidbits. Besides my lip products, I would say the other major thing that is that I've collected is like bronzers and like powder highlights. <laughs> 
So <laughs> this one needs to be cleared out. Uh, so let's get to this. Easy two ones. I'm obsessed with these. Um, the Dior Backstage like Glow Face Palette, as you can see. And this one I was recently gifted. And oh my god, how pretty is this? Yeah, these are keepers. I'm going to get rid of this one. I didn't think it was that great. I do like this. This nice little like duo. This is my little powder from CoverGirl. <laughs> I like to like not spend too much money. So that one I'm keeping and it's really nice. I like it. I picked up this butter bronzer. Everyone talks about it. So I'm going to keep it and try it out. Another powder from like a mineral makeup. Oh, I'm going to keep this because this was really great when I have uh, doing my micro needling and stuff. Stila had their highlights. This is a really pretty color. I think I might keep that one. Oh, and they have a stick. Um, I'm really curious to try out, so I'm going to keep that. I think this is like, yeah, really pretty. Just a little kind of too creamy for me, so I'm going to find this new home. It's like a Lancome powder I'm going to keep. It's also expensive, and I only bought it like last year at some point, so I'm going to keep that. Nude by Nature has a powder. I haven't even used this. It's a powder foundation. I might keep that. I'm <clears throat> really curious to know how that wears on the skin. Um, and then I think, oh, this is a bronzer as a powder. I don't know. I think I might give this new home. Same with this one. Um, Fenty Beauty. I'm going to keep this. It's like a nice little bronzer. And yeah, I like, I like the shade of that. Um, oh, Burberry. So pretty. I'm going to keep that. I think I'm going to try to use that this weekend when we go out. I also kept this as like for blushes. <laughs> How cool is that? It's like an ombre and it's so pretty and I really love the one in the middle and then I would go, I would navigate towards these. Um, I know this is like kind of more of like a bronzer. So it'll be good for travel because you have everything in there. Um, but yeah, I'm going to keep that. Um, what Charlotte Tilbury thing is this? I can't remember. Oh, I did like this at one point. And then I've found other things I like. So I'm going to probably toss that because I think that's like definitely over two years. I think this is, oh yeah, this is like a pearlescent one. So that's going to stay. Um, but this I think can go, it's like a powder bronzer. It's a really nice shade, but as you can see, I already have a few other ones. So, oh my, haven't used this contour kit will donate. This came broken. Um, I thought I'd maybe repair it, but I think I'm just going to like see if my sister wants maybe half of it. <laughs> I don't know. Um, oh, I'm going to keep this. How pretty. This is like a Laura Mercier, like holiday palette. Um, and I packed this away before we moved last spring, like when we were doing the whole house thing. So I thought it was even existed. Um, oh, these are eyeshadow palettes that I think I'm just going to donate. I thought, oh my god, such pretty colors. Will I wear them? And I haven't. So they deserve to go to a new home. And a little Dior eyeshadow palette. It's really pretty. Maybe my mom wants this one. And then I think, oh, this is like a little mini benefit thing. I will find a new home for this one. And then a lipstick. Oh, these guys, are they dried out? Yes. Shame. And that's it. So I have a lipstick. I'm going to keep a Spare Minerals Raspberry. It's really actually a nice color. Mm. Nice little body lotion for travel. A couple extra beauty blender sponges. And oh my god! Another Drunk Elephant Mini. So that's cleared out. <laughs> okay, here's a tray that's kind of funny because do I wear... <laughs> fake eyelashes? No, not lately. Um, so I think I'm going to only keep maybe like one pair just like for, I don't know if I go to something fancy or whatever. Um, I'll try to keep both of these like glues cause I don't know which is better. Yeah. I'm gonna keep like this faux mint one, I think. Cause they're, yeah, they're just, they're really pretty. I think I tried these on in an event. So I'm going to keep those. What are, oh, these are also lashes. Yeah, this is also really pretty though. 
Ooh, I might keep these just because they look really, really nice. And the glue that goes with them. Okay. Oh, keeping this. It's, uh, these are like eyeshadow things and stuff from Fenty Beauty. They're like a blue, purpley color. I know I said I don't really wear them, but I don't know. I just, I love the look of these and like the other ones. So I'm going to keep that. Um, a lash guard. <laughs> Mascara shields. Oh, I actually wonder if these work. I'm going to keep those. These are all the colors I would wear. I'm going to keep that. I love this Marc Jacobs. Like glitter shadow. So that's staying. Um, I love these. These, like, as you can see, I've had a few, like, strays here and there. They're so pretty. I use them as a liner. You can use them as a, like a eyeshadow and then blend them out with a brush. Um, some people use them as a highlighter sometimes. I love this color. Keep them that. Um, but sometimes they dry out really easily. So, um, oh, that one's still good. Yes. Depends when you buy them. That one's also still really nice. This is the purple. So yeah, I'm going to keep these because they are beautiful and as you can see, hopefully, yeah, so those are going to stay. Um, and that's it. For, I have to go through my lips, my lip products. <laughs> and there's definitely has to be like a hundred lip products. Okay, final category is lips. <laughs> you can see that I have quite a collection. Oh, actually this is like a cheap tint and I will donate that because I'm not too crazy about a coral color. Um, as you can see, I love myself a nice pink lip color. I feel like this looks the best on me. There's some nudes in here. I have gone to the dark side once in a while, <laughs> but um, overall I do like, I like a pink. I think it's just what suits me best and I stick to it. Another nail polish. Okay. I'm just gonna probably go through and see if anything's expired. And then um, I keep some things that are new, like my new Glossier Coconutbalm.com. I just actually bought this. Um, so that's obviously gonna be a keeper. And then, oh, this is a blending sponge from that Eva Lena Beauty. I'm gonna keep that. Always good to have an extra sponge. And this Bite Beauty lip kit, um, lip kit set um, is also gonna be a keeper. So I'm just gonna organize. I'm gonna put some things I'm gonna keep in here. Oh, I do wanna say that. Um, I haven't been a Target in a while, so I have no idea if they still sell this, but this was actually my wedding, um, lipstick <laughs> and it's, uh, Sonia Kashuk and it's peachy pink. And so I bought two of these and I kept, I'm just going to keep this one. It's probably still okay if it's unopened, I don't know, but sentimental is that my lips, my wedding lips. Oh, and if you're wondering why I have so many Bite Beauty products is because they reformulated in the new year. So I picked up um, some of my favorite colors. These were like $6 each because they just wanted to clear it all out. And then they launched um, a new formulation, which is vegan, which is fine. But I just want to stick with the old one. So I stocked up. Oh, these are some Laura Mercier lips and they're really nice nudes. So I'm gonna keep those. Um, these are some of the new Burt Bees liquid lipsticks. Pretty much the brand is like um, natural origin, like 99.9% .9 or something. So you can keep this color. I think that's a nice shade, like a nudie pink. Oh, this is another Burt's Bees. It's uh, all a glow. It's a lip and cheeks 
tint stick, like a tint stick. <laughs> with coconut oil so I'm gonna keep that and try it out it's also a really nice color I think it's a uh, blush bay okay so here's the aftermath too if you want to see so that's a box of donations and like friends and family giveaway pile garbage uh, the keep also the giveaway um, and garbage piles so have to go through a couple of lipsticks, make sure they're still not expired or whatever. The keep pile of lipsticks, the empty bins, miscellaneous bits like hair stuff or whatever. And then this is like <laughs> tampons and pads, extra little toiletries and stuff. So overall pretty good. So I can try to put things nicely and organized back in here. And then these are going to be like my everyday makeup containers I put on the shelf. Just stacks. So there's like three shelves. And that's it. They did pretty well. Pretty happy with that.